Hi, right, okay, we're going to work through this um, old exam question. And what we've got here, we've got a lump of solid that's a mixture of sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate. And it has a mass of 10 grams altogether. Right, then we heated it and uh, did a constant mass experiment on it. So the end mass was 8.708 grams. So something has decomposed. Uh, given off a gas, gas has gone into the atmosphere, and what's left is 8.78 grams. And what we have to do is uh, calculate the composition, i.e. The, um, the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate and the mass of sodium carbonate. And it tells you that sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is baking soda, decomposes into uh, sodium carbonate. Okay, so let's um, try and represent this pictorially. Uh, so we're going to draw a lump of this solid, like so. And let's say that it's split into uh, into two components nicely and evenly, where this is our uh, sodium uh, carbonate, and that of course doesn't decompose. Calcium carbonate does decompose, of course, but sodium carbonate is quite thermally stable, um, and so this can be our sodium hydrogen carbonate like that. Um, and that's the bit that decomposes, that's baking soda, that's what gives you all your bubbles in your bread and cakes and stuff. Um, when you put it in the oven and that's what's happening. Okay, so this is going to decompose. Let's um, now work out the equation for this decomposition. So we've got some sodium hydrogen carbonate and it tells us in the equation that it uh, decomposes to form sodium carbonate. Like so. Um, so we have to work out what it decomposes uh, to, as well as sodium carbonate. And you can see carbonate is going to decompose to uh, carbon dioxide, but we've got uh, these hydrogens to worry about as well, and the extra oxygen that was in the carbonate. Um, so we're going to get some water as well, and to balance it, we're going to need to put uh, a big two there. So that's our equation. Just check that it balances and so then what we can do is we can uh, go back to our little diagram here and see that uh, this uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate is going to turn into um, it's going to turn into let me do it here it's going to turn into sodium uh, carbonate like so and this is going to be uh, carbon dioxide and water and it's, the water is going to come off as water vapor because we're heating it. You know, presumably we're heating it to more than 100. It doesn't say in the in the question it would be better than it, uh, uh, if it did, because actually you don't have to heat it all the way to 100 to get sodium hydrogen carbonate to decompose. It decomposes about 70 plus <coughs> Celsius. Um, but for the purposes of this question, we're going to uh, choose the most difficult example, which is that um, we've got uh, decomposition to uh, at above 100, so we've got two gases coming off, right? So we've got a gas and a gas. Uh, the answer is slightly easier to come by if um, if uh, you assume the water is liquid and then stays with the um, uh, the, the two solids here. Um, okay, so that's what we're going to do, and uh, let's work through it. So um, what we're told is is this. Um, amount here is the difference in mass right so that's the bit of mass that's lost because the gases escape okay so we can say that uh, the mass of the carbon dioxide and the water is equal to our starting mass uh, 10 grams take our finishing mass 8.708 and that is 1.292 grams. Okay, and that's the mass of those two products. Um, and what we need to do here in order to get to the final answer, let's just sort of make a little plan. Uh, we need to work out the moles of uh, carbon dioxide and water uh, because then we can use the balanced equation to work out uh, the moles of uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate that that must have come from. Once you've got the moles of the sodium hydrogen carbonate, you just turn it into a mass, and that's part of your answer. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to we want to find out the moles of 
um, carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so and as we know, right, the moles of equals mass over MR. Um, and we know that these are equimolar. Equimolar from the balanced equation because we've got uh, uh, molar ratios of one and one for carbon dioxide and, and water there. Uh, so what we can do then is sort of assume that uh, the carbon dioxide in the water is, is like one um, formula unit. So we're going to pay, uh, put the, the mass, which is our uh, 1.292, and our MR of both, um, MR of both, when you add up your 18 and your carbon dioxide, that comes to 62, I think. Right, so the moles of, uh, of both turns out to be uh, 0.208. 0.208 moles. All right, and because they're equimolar, you can then say that uh, the moles of carbon dioxide is half of that, and it's the same as the moles of uh, water because of our molar ratios in the balanced equation are both one and one. Uh, so the moles of each are going to be 0 0.104. Uh, that's really just for completeness. You don't actually need that for to get to the answer because what we really want is the moles of our sodium hydrogen carbonate. So again, from the balanced equation, the moles of our sodium hydrogen carbonate right, are going to be twice the moles of our carbon dioxide, for example, or twice the moles of our uh, water, or in fact, the same as the combined moles of carbon dioxide and water. In any way, uh, that is uh, going to be 0 0.208. 0.208 moles. Um, so now, quickly, we're going to uh, work out the mass. All right, so the mass of our sodium hydrogen carbonate uh, is going to be moles times MR. Moles we just worked out. Uh, MR is of sodium hydrogen carbonate 48, 58, 60. 83, 84. I'll just check that, I've done that a little bit quickly. So 0.208 times 84 is 1.742. 1.742 moles. So that's now in grams. Okay, and therefore, um, if the whole thing was 10 grams, um, yeah, then the mass of our um, original, looking over to the left here, the rationale of our original sodium carbonate is going to be 10 minus our 1.7472 and that is 8.253 grams. All right, and so I think the question, let's just check the question question, calculate the composition uh, in grams of each component. So there we have uh, one component, there we have two components, and that for me is the answer. Now, um, it's different to the answer you gave me in the, in the question. Um, I think this is correct, and I think possibly the difference is uh, that uh, the answer that you gave me assumed that the water remained with the uh, solid, which it doesn't, it comes off as steam. So I, I think that original answer might have been wrong, but I'm open to um, correction if anybody wants to uh, get back to me and uh, tell me where I've gone wrong.